Hey, what's up everyone? Brad here and I have this Fantic Fold S1 Apex Deluxe Edition with 20 bits. This is an electric pivot handle screwdriver. So as you can see, I haven't even opened up this box yet. It still has plastic on it and I'm about to check out what's inside. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is take off the plastic, open it up. Now one thing that I have liked about the Fantic brand is that they've all come packed very well with the same type of plastic protecting everything. Uh, never seen any damage on any products. Looks like you get some easy to follow instructions. Very straightforward. Okay, I like this already. Look at this case. So this is a hard case. Fold S1 Apex Deluxe Edition. This is really nice. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's not too heavy. Let's pop it open. Well, the first thing I noticed is that you have this how to use me instructions. So if you uh, don't want to read the manual, I guess just take a look at that. You get a plastic coating over these bits and we have a little USB charging cable. You do get a very good variety of bits, a nice selection, basically every bit you're probably going to need. And then looking at the screwdriver itself, it has some size to it, as you guys can see. I'm assuming this thing is gonna put out some good torque. You got this button right here, that's gonna activate it. You also got a light up on top, like that. Your display is gonna come with a nice little protector. We're gonna just take that off. See how nice it really looks. So we got a full battery right out of the box. It looks like the battery automatically shuts off, which I like. All right, so in regards to the bits, you are going to get the ones I'm showing right here. I'm not gonna name them all off because I don't feel like it. Not quite sure what this is doing, but I will read the instructions and find out. And then this here, you just push in this button and this is gonna allow the handle to fold. So that's straight and that is all the way folded. So not quite 90 degrees. All right, so looking in the instruction manual, so yes, not quite 90 degrees, that was actually 72 degrees. And then there's also angle C, which is 48 degrees and a 24 degree setting. Okay, I just took a few seconds to read the instructions and I figured out a few things that I was unclear about. So this guy in the back, this is actually just one button. You press this and this is going to rotate your chuck. And this button here on the right is going to have reverse and forward. So you can change between those two. The unit of force that is displaying is Newton meter. This button on the left here is gonna change your RPM from low to high or high to low. And on top, this is actually rotating and changing your torque. So we have one Newton meter. If I go back to the lowest setting or actually the other way, so rotate that all the way to zero. 0.5 Newton meter, up one Newton meter, two Newton meters, three Newton meters, four Newton meters, five Newton meters. And on the back here, you're gonna see a USB-C port that you are going to use to charge this. So I was just messing with it again and I realized that you can turn it even further and it actually goes to six seven Newton meters. So seven Newton meters is the max. So actually looking at this case a little bit closer, uh, this instruction manual is kind of cool. So it actually shows you what to set your torque setting at and for what type of devices. So if you look at number one, you know, you're looking at computer, or some headphones, you're gonna have it at the lowest setting, 0.5 Newton. Okay, the next one we got speakers for a vehicle. And then we got uh, torque setting for, what is that, a skateboard and a chair? And then we got, uh, oh wait, that's three Newton meters. And then we're gonna go back to some microwaves and electrical sockets at two Newton meters. Looks like at four Newton meters, we have a window and a faucet. Five Newton meters is when you're getting uh, into some furniture, some, some desk assembly. Six Newton meters, you're gonna start working on your bicycle and possibly that is a bed. And then it looks like the last setting, seven Newton meters, this is uh, for wood. So if you're uh, gonna be screwing into wood, I believe that is the highest setting that you are gonna need. We will test that out. All right, so the first test is gonna be on my computer here, my laptop, and we are gonna try to pull off the uh, backside using this on the lowest torque setting, which is 0.5 Newton meters. So this is really easy to set up. Basically just take your bit, 
and you just pop it in there and it actually locks in so that's not coming out. And to release it, you just pull out on the chuck and then it releases. So goes in, locks in. We are gonna set the angle up at, let's do a 72 angle for this. Let's see, so right now that is tightening it. So to put it in reverse, we're gonna make that arrow facing down. Right now it's at the lowest RPM. I kind of like that. I don't wanna take a chance on stripping any bolts here. So turn the torque all the way down to half a Newton meter. So it worked. I kind of want to put it in high mode. I think we'll be a little bit quicker. Oh yeah, that's way better. So I think use the low torque if you uh, don't want to strip stuff. But once you're happy with it, throw it in high RPM and there you go. Actually, I just noticed that, so these are also magnetic tips. Very helpful for small screws like this. Pulled that off and uh, there you go. Maybe I should give this a little cleaning while I got it open. So first test works good. All right, second test is gonna be screwing this back together. So let's take this and we will switch that around. Should we keep it in high or should we put it in low? I am thinking we'll put it in low. Okay. Didn't break anything, that's good. Didn't break anything on the second one. Let's throw it in high gear. All right, so I don't wanna bore you guys and go through every single torque setting. So we're gonna jump ahead to three Newton meter and it looks like we have a skateboard. And guess what? I actually happen to have a skateboard here. So we are gonna take my ratchet and we're gonna stick it on the back side. I don't know if we're actually gonna need it, but I'm pretty sure we are. And it looks like we have some screws up on top. Do you guys think this is actually gonna be able to pull these out? We'll find out. So it's turning it. Now, we do need to put the, let's actually go with this one here. So we're gonna take that. Three Newton meters, skateboard, remove your trucks works. All right, let's jump ahead to five and it looks like we're going to assemble some furniture. And I actually happen to have some furniture that I recently installed, which is my studio desk. So I got this set to five. I actually have a uh, hex head on there. Let's throw it up and see if this thing works better. This thing was a pain in the butt to put together, so I wish I actually had this. Oh, okay. There we go. Looks like it works, right? I'm not going to take that all the way out, so let's flip it around and put it in forward. Tighten it up. So, and you can give it a little tweak with your hand after, which is uh, helpful. But to me, looks good. I'll let you guys know if uh, the desk falls apart. I'm pretty confident it won't. All right, for the last test, we are gonna bump it all the way up to seven Newton meters and we are gonna test it out on wood. I got two screws. I got this is about just over an inch long, inch and a quarter length, and we got a three quarter inch. So I'm probably gonna try the three quarter inch first to see if that'll work. Then we'll go with the other one and try to screw it right into my desk. If it does, then thanks Fantic. You guys can buy me a new desk. Set to seven, forward on low. I kinda wanna put it on high. Let's put it on high. Give it, I think it's gonna give it its best chance if it's on high to go into wood. Ready, set, go. Very good. 
Look at that. All the way in. Oh, I'm kind of scared to do this with the other screw. Let's see, am I actually gonna damage my desk? Oh, for sure. All right, let's see if it can do it. Did the first one. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. I don't think Fantic's gonna replace my desk, but that proves that with seven, you can put a screw. I could probably put a much longer screw. It actually went in quite easy. So I'm really happy with that. Seven on high. I think high is gonna be the best for in wood. I just did all those tests within the last, say, hour. Full battery. So for me to test this from a drained battery to full charge, I'm gonna have to figure out how to drain the battery. I don't think I have that many things in my house to take apart or put together. So last but not least, let's use this number seven in reverse and try to pull these screws out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be easy. Nothing, nothing for that. All right, so testing this A1 Apex out, I'm pretty happy with it. You guys seen it pretty much did everything it claimed to do. I really like this screwdriver. I am likely gonna keep it. Might get rid of another screwdriver that I have. And this one is, uh, it's very handy, it's comfortable. I really like the different angles. I think those are gonna be handy. It looks really sleek, feels durable and well made. I personally don't think this is gonna replace a drill. I believe this is a screwdriver and you can use it as a drill in certain places like drilling a screw into wood, but I wouldn't be building a deck with this. Overall, I'm super happy with this. Like I said before, all the Fantic products that I've tried out and tested are all really good. You know, these guys are in Costco now and Although this is a little bit of an expensive screwdriver, if you keep an eye out, you can probably get a good deal on it. They do go on sale. I will leave a link in my description if you are interested and you can check out the current price. If you are looking for a multi-purpose electric screwdriver with a pivot handle, you should definitely consider this one by Fantic. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.